Hi beauties, I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel, Jules here. If you're new, please click the subscribe button and join the family. Um, I basically do reviews on hair, everything hair related, um, but everything in South Africa that we can do here in South Africa. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about my taping extensions. Everyone that's been following me since the beginning knows my hair was here about up to a year when I started the channel. Um, all of this is extensions. Um, I got the 16 inch extensions. <coughs> Sorry, I am thinking about going for 20 inch because I do love the long hair. My hair used to be long when I lived on the farm. And yeah, then I moved back here. On the farm, there was no hairdressers, there was no hair salons. So there was no temptations. Then I moved back to where I am now. And yeah, I just started doing different hairstyles, doing hair colors. And basically my hair started to go shorter, 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 shorter. So <clears throat> not from damage, just from experimenting with everything that I saw. So I've been wanting to get my hair long again. I looked into hair extensions. Um, there's various ways you can do it. Um, but I preferred the taping extension way. Taping is basically two wefts like this. They take a piece of hair that's basically the same thickness as one strand. They put it in between and they, so your hair is in between and you stick the two together and then your hair is sandwiched between the two parts and then that is a tape-in. Um, I can show you what it looks like um, in your hair. It's honestly, I'd, there you can see one. Let me just get closer. There you can see there's one tape. So basically I can still wear my hair up the way the hair just salon put it in i can still wear my hair up and you can't see it um i just have to brush it i just did it now roughly but you can't see it when i put my hair up i can do a top bun i can do a messy bun i can do braids everything you can't see it so i went to chic hair they are in cape town and in somerset west i did a lot of research i went to a lot of pages i went to a lot of suppliers she care was by far the cheapest and don't think because it's cheap their hair is horrible their hair is so soft my hair does not get tangled it does not get knotty um it's really good quality hair i can honestly say if you want to get extensions go and have a look at she care i will post a photo up here of what the page looks like and I will post, um, put a link in my description box from where I had mine done. So <clears throat> basically, I went to Chic Hair. They, I, the color was not 100% a match, but I dyed it myself to get it 100% match. Um, it's not their fault. They did not have the stock. And I'm not a um, very patient person. If, if I want to do something, I want it done now. So... I got a shade lighter than what I normally use, um, what my normal color is. So I just dyed it myself after, after they installed it. So, yeah. So that's a tape extension. If you brush your hair, it's best to use like a tangle teaser. But I mean, I can brush my hair like normal. It does not get stuck anywhere. Um, you can't feel it on your head. It is super comfortable. Super soft. You you really it's you get so used to it you don't feel it anymore. So I've had my taping extensions in now for about seven weeks. <coughs> Sorry, um, I had it done by Shike. The lady put it in a way that I can still wear my hair up. Whatever. Um, when you buy it, you get twenty pieces. But by pieces, I mean. 20 single wefts so you get 20 single wefts and they sandwich it together so you've got 10 sandwiches for a normal fine hair i think 10 sandwiches 
For medium thick hair, you need 20 sandwiches, so that's two packets. And for thick hair, you've got to have 30 sandwiches, and that's what I had to get. I I got 30 sandwiches, um, but that's because I've got very thick hair. Um, when I go now again, I think I will get another packet and um, put in another 10 sandwiches. So, yeah, have a look on um, Chic Hair, they're on Facebook. Um, they've got a lot of photos. They do offer micro, oh, no, not micro, they do micro rings as well, but they do nano rings as well. Um, nano rings is the latest way of doing extensions. I personally did not want to go with nano rings because nano rings, they basically, I'll put a picture up here what, of what it looks like, but that takes, it's like a single piece where this is one wide piece. That is like a small piece of hair like this. And they put it in with a ring to your scalp. And then they clamp it with a, um, what do you call it, a plier. I prefer not to go that way because I feel the hair is more evenly distributed with a wider piece like this than with the nano ring. Because then the strain of hair, this piece of hair, pulls on a piece of hair exactly the same amount as this. I just felt that it's going to be more harming to my hair, but I'm not saying that it is. It's just my personal opinion. I felt the tapings was a better option because right? it's less strain on your own hair because I do want to grow out my hair and I don't want any damage on my hair. And with this, I can feel that it's not pulling. With the nano rings, I also noticed that a lot of people, when their hair grows out a little bit, with the tape in, if your hair grows out, you've got this white piece of hair. So basically, let's say this is your scalp and the tape is here. So if it grows out, it grows out in a white patch and there's less chance of your hair getting matted. With the nano rings, your hair grows out in these little pieces and you can't brush it on top of that. Because the nano rings is on top here. So you can't brush it and that tangles or mat it, mats. Um, what do you call it? Mat. Yeah. So I just personally preferred the tapings. So with the tapings, um, you don't feel it. With the nano rings, you do feel it. And um, when I was doing my hair, a lady was sitting next to me and she had nano ring or micro rings in. And I asked if I could feel her head and I felt it and it I don't like the feeling of it. A lot of people prefer it. I just don't prefer it. I like the um, tapings. They're softer and you don't feel it. So basically the do's and the don'ts with tapings. Um, if you wash your hair, wash. you've got to wash it with a sulfate-free shampoo and conditioner. So I use the um, OGX shampoo and conditioner. It's both sulfate-free. Um, it's very soft on my hair. Um, I can honestly say my hair doesn't get matted or anything. Then dry shampoo, but my hair doesn't get oily. Because with fake, well, not fake it, taping extensions or ex any extensions, you don't want to wash your hair three, four times a week. You want to wash your hair basically two times max a week. Um, because your extensions doesn't get oil from your own from your scalp like your own hair does so i would say get a good dry shampoo and then use that in between washes and then for your extensions you've got to put a good oil on it i put the argan oil the moroccan argan oil on and i can honestly say i can feel that my hair feels good i mean it's six weeks later my extensions are still super soft i straighten them once a week so yeah if you've Get extensions, invest in good shampoo, good conditioner, good oil for your hair. Um, let's see. Oh, then when you sleep, don't sleep with your hair loose. You have to either tie it, make it into two braids. I don't do braids because I don't want my hair curly. Um, so I put my silk cap on and I sleep with the silk cap. I usually put my hair in the top knot and then I put the silk cap on that I don't get any friction. Oh, sorry, friction on my hair. So you've got to sleep with the silk cap. Then what else? Okay, so maintenance is basically every six to eight weeks you've got to go back and then they take the tape off, 
They take, they take like a um, alcohol remover, they remove the tapes, they clean it, they put new tapes in and they put it back up to your roots again. The, you can see that's the removable tapes. So basically they take the tape, take off the old glue and they put a new tape on and then they stick it back into your hair. The hair you can use for as long as they are still good. If you look after your hair extremely well, you can use it quite a few times. If you don't look after your hair, you won't be able to use it a few times. So um, spend the money and rather look after your hair. Um, I did do a lot of research. Chic hair was the cheapest by far and the hair quality is extremely good. Um, their rates for removing it and putting it back up again is also the best that I've seen so far. It doesn't take that long. I had mine removed and refitted two weeks ago. Yes, two weeks ago. And I was there for two hours. So they removed it, washed my hair, refitted it, and then I was good to go. The only thing that you have to remember is they, um, sit, they advise that you don't wash your hair in 40, for 48 hours, which I didn't do. I kept my hair like that for 48 hours and after that I washed it. Now what I've got to say is type in extensions, the ones from Sheet now specifically, they are hella strong. You're not supposed to put conditioner on your roots. So when you wash your hair, you can wash your hair as normal with the shampoo. But then when you conditioner it, you've got to conditioner it from mid to ends. And when you put your oil on, mid to ends. Right? So you don't want to get any oil or conditioner on your roots. But I had in purple, no, blonde and this color extensions. I didn't, I like the blonde, but it looked, it didn't blend that nicely for me so I decided to go purple with the blonde and I used my conditioner with the, the powder conditioner Ah, the powder dye with the conditioner I put that on and I put it literally all over it was like two weeks before I had to go have them refitted and I thought well if they fall out now they fall out it's one of those things and I put that conditioner all over my head okay, to make sure everything was purple and everything blended in. I put a picture of what the purple looked like. And I'm telling you, this hair is stuck like you won't believe. I haven't lost one single weft. I haven't had them get come loose. Um, they are still as sturdy as when I had them put in. Some people complain that the tapes get sticky mine does not and I think it's because I dry them after um, after I wash my hair religiously I do not go to sleep with wet hair um, that's one of the things you're also not supposed to do and don't sleep with wet hair so I wash my hair I dry my hair I straighten my hair and I'm done for the basically a week and then I put in daily my Moroccan oil so I can honestly say um, Chic Hair's tapings are fantastic. I haven't had any complaints. I don't lose hair. The hair doesn't shed that much. They don't tangle. I mean, if you check now, I can brush through it so quickly and so smoothly. And look how shiny the hair is. The hair is so shiny and soft. So guys, if you consider getting tapings or getting hair extensions, um, have a look on Facebook. The um, page's name is Chic Hair Extensions. They are in Cape Town, but they're in Somerset West as well. You won't be sorry. It is such a um, booster. You just feel so much more baba boom with longer hair. It just, you just feel fabulous. So have a look. And I mean, it's an investment and it's pricey, but it's not that pricey. Um, it's not 20,000 Rand um, and you can wear it continuously if you look after your hair for a year, year and a half. Um, when I was there, the lady that sat with me, her extension she's been using for over a year and her hair was still soft and smooth and as long as ever. So yeah, that's my take on it. I don't know what you guys think. Tell me what you think about extensions. Is it something you will do? I love it. I think it's awesome. Um, it's really, it's, I love it. There's nothing bad that I can say about it. 
the service I received was great. Um, so yeah, have a look. She Care Extensions on Facebook. And it's not sponsored. It's my honest opinion. I know a lot of people have asked me uh, where I got my extensions. I did it for myself. I just wanted long hair. I love it. And that's it. Guys, have a fabulous evening. Love you lots. Stay safe. See you soon. Bye.